Hey gang, this is Dwayne from ITMasterKey.com and today we're going to talk about BYOD or bring your own device. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see if BYOD is right for your organization. You bring your personal laptop, cell phone, tablet to be used on a corporate network. The main objective of BYOD is to increase productivity and save on costs. It would increase productivity because you always have a device with you so you can do work whenever you want to. It will reduce costs because the corporation will have to actually buy the device that you already have in your possession. So BYOD does have advantages. So work flexibility is one. So you can do work at the coffee shop, at the house, wherever you're at because you already have the device with you. Another one is reduced hardware costs because you already bought the phone or bought the tablet or bought the laptop. So the corporation doesn't have to worry about it. Another thing is reduce user training because the person is using the device already, they're comfortable with it, so you don't have to worry about training them up on it. So BYOD can be a great asset for any corporation, but the corporation or organization has to make sure that they do their due diligence to make sure that the devices are operating securely. So to put things in perspective, using your personal device to get access to the corporate network. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? Before implementing a BYOD model, you got to make sure that you answer a few questions like what happens if the person loses their device? What if uh, the person gets a new device? What happens to the, the data on the old device? They're just small little nuances that you have to think about before you implement BYOD. Another thing is BYOD doesn't always save you money. Imagine having an ecosystem to where you got Windows, uh, Mac, Android, Linux, iPhones, just everything all working in one ecosystem all working underneath one roof and you got to find a software that's actually compatible with all those things it can be a nightmare to oversee so to have a successful BYOD implementation you got to have a solid BYOD policy so this policy should include sandboxing features and sandboxing just means that the corporate stuff is separate from the personal stuff so whatever you're doing you're texting your grandma you're texting your kids you on Facebook that's gonna be separate from everything on the corporate network. This one over BYOD, which is bring your own device. Leave a comment below to tell me if you're gonna be implementing this inside your organization. And other than that, I'll see you in class.